Close your eyes and allow yourself to relax in the arms of Jesus today. Let him take away your cares and worries for a few minutes as we focus on one of the most beautiful scriptures in the Bible. Revelation 21.4 says about our Lord that he will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning, or crying, or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. Did you hear that? He will wipe every tear from their eyes. It almost feels too good to be true, doesn't it? He will wipe every tear from your eyes. Say that out loud. He will wipe every tear from your eyes. Now say it out loud, but replace your with my. He will wipe every tear from my eyes. Close your eyes and think about the marvelous day when the Lord calls us home and there will no longer be any death or mourning or crying or pain and there will no longer be tears in our eyes because he will wipe them all away. One day, there won't be a need to forgive the offenses and betrayals done against you because they won't happen anymore. When we're with the Lord, everything is new. Everything is peaceful. Everything will be forgiven. Think about that for a moment. Everything, everything, everything will be forgiven. Your heart won't hurt anymore. But that day seems so far away, right? How will we get through this life dealing with the betrayals of the past and the ones that may very well happen in the future? Is it possible? It is. There's another beautiful scripture we can focus on today. Psalm 56, 8 tells us in the New Living Translation this about God. You keep track of all my sorrows. You have collected all my tears in your bottle. You have recorded each one in your book. The message version says it like this. You've kept track of my every toss and turn through the sleepless nights. Each tear entered in your ledger, each ache written in your book. God knows every time you lie in bed at night and you can't get something hurtful out of your mind. He knows how much you want the person who has hurt you to feel the pain you feel. He knows how hard it is to forgive. He will not forget what you've gone through. Because God knows all, sees all, feels all, and loves all, we can allow him to wash the unforgiveness from our hearts and heal us and we can trust that he will work on the heart of the person who hurt you. Once you forgive, you've cleansed yourself from that burden of disobedience. You are free. And now you can begin to ask God to help you pray for your offender. And even one day, love that person in the way God loves them. As we close out our reflection time on forgiving betrayals, let's always remember that Jesus knows the hurt of betrayal. He forgave and he can help you forgive. Let's pray. God, I thank you for this journey you've taken me on, learning how to forgive everything wrong that has been done to me. Through your power and your strength only, I can walk this road. I can grow. I can live again. Thank you for being my savior. 
thank you for holding my hand as I forgive. If someone is on your mind today, someone you need to forgive, or someone you know who has been betrayed and needs to know the freedom forgiveness can bring, type I have in the comment section. And as always, if you have a prayer request, please leave it in the comment section too.